Roll very nice. Sunset developing. Well, sun's on the point of going down, really, to be honest. But some lovely red clouds or orange. This is the heather path in Sherwood Forest Country Park. few members of the public knocking about but thankfully they're all going home now quite a nice spot there's the path looks as though they're not grazing it about time I really do think and I've always thought it for a number of years although management and natural England and everybody else will disagree, but this place is being overgrazed. We interfere too much. We remove too many trees. Which seems ridiculous to me at a time when we're being told to plant more and we need to plant more. How can organisations like the Woodland Trust be wanting us to plant millions of trees and at the same time trees are being removed from our gardens from the sides of our roads and in our countryside We moan constantly and become angry that rainforests and trees in woodlands throughout the world are being cut down and removed. Yet we turn a blind eye to trees that are being cut down in this country. We completely ignore it. That one tree that's in your garden uh, will have been there for 20, 30, 40, maybe 100 years. When that's removed, because it makes too much of a mess, get leaves on garden, get honeydew on cars, I have to wash my car, blah, blah, blah. Quite a pitiful arguments for removing a valuable asset that we can't do without. There is place in gardens for trees and maybe at some time people will learn to realise that we need trees in gardens because there will be very little place or area for trees to be planted in the wild the way I was going. Trees are the givers of life to the world and yet we treat them with such discontent. And it does matter, even when that one tree is taken out of your garden or next door's garden, the cumulative effect to your local environment is great. But people think, ah, take this one tree out. There's only one tree, isn't it? But then you have thousands and millions of other people that think their tree, and by removing the tree that's in their garden, think exactly the same. When you look around to your local area, look how many hedgerows have been removed. Especially if you're on a council estate that was sort of planted and built in after the war, late 40s, 50s. There'd have been a privet or a hawthorn edge around every garden. And certainly in the front, on the roadside, there'd have been hedges. You look how many now, look out your front window now and see how many hedges people have around the properties. 
and it's only a tiny fraction and we complain about the habitat that is being lost and yet all the time we're constantly removing it beautiful sky now isn't it beautiful sky, beautiful planet and the planet doesn't deserve us. I'm reminded of words from a Marilyn Manson song, of all people. What's a nice place like this doing with people like us? Quite true, really, when you think about it, and the damage that we do to the planet and our own local environment. I just wish we'd stop removing trees. Trees should be protected. It should be really, really difficult and made nigh and impossible for anyone to remove a tree, whether that's a householder planners, builders, whatever. We should fight for us trees. Because we're steadily losing them. Losing them in, his, in the towns and cities. Yeah, they might be alright for a while sometimes. But then they get too big so they've got to come out. You don't know how lucky you are if you've got trees near you. Our towns and cities aren't so nice without them. But I suppose it's a fact or something that people have got to get used to in the coming years. I feel sorry for them, because as much as you have all these eco-warriors and people want to do this, save this, save that, save the bloody other, nothing gets done. Successive generations have been going to save this and save the planet, stop using plastic. In all the 20, 30 years' time, when people have forgotten David Ambrose revelations about plastic in our seas if they're still in there then we'll have still have done nothing about it but that's not for me to worry about is it at my age I just hope that when I'm gone, someone else will care as much as I do. Dennis and I were always very keen on what we did. And the stuff, the records and the knowledge that we've left behind for people. I hope somebody uses it in 40 or 50 years time. That's what it's there for. And that sky changed in just coming up to 10 minutes. You got the odd bat flying around. So, it's past 10 minutes on, isn't it? But do think about your trees before you remove them. We'll need them one day. You'll have to be planting them as a state of emergency. Good luck with that one.